All right, we're back here at Robert Moore Sports. We've got this Mini Cooper tore apart, head gasket repair, and we're gonna go ahead and put an oil cooler on that thing. She's sitting right yonder. Um, waiting on a customer, send me some more money for some parts. Just got the head back from the machine shop yesterday. He said this thing was warped beyond what he usually sees, but he says it's flat. We'll check it and see if it's flat now, but pretty sure it's flat. Just got this 2.7 Chrysler put back together. And she sounds pretty quiet. All I hear is an injector ticking. Um, but what we found was uh, several, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven collapsed lifters. Um, these chains right here, these secondary chains are sharp on the inside very sharp um, and I'll show you why so you got these secondary tensioners here and I got little oil holes in them little it's supposed to have an oil hole on this side but it's already ate through it so this one was about to go this one was all the way shot look this it's supposed to have a spring in there keep tension on it the spring is gone Obviously, it was also losing a lot of oil pressure right there, um, which is probably what collapsed these lifters on that bank. Because, I mean, all it's supposed to have a teeny tiny hole to relieve oil pressure like that. And it was relieving oil pressure through that big old hole. So, not ideal. But we got this thing fixed up. She sounds good. Um, I'm happy about it. This is the first one of these I've done. It's kind of similar to a Pentastar. I was worried about um, maybe skipping a tooth on the crank pulley. You know, while I had all the timing components off of it. But I was able to, uh, you know, just pull the cam gears off and suspend them from uh, the hood right here suspend them to keep that chain tight on the crank uh, pulley down there which after I was thinking about it I should have marked the harmonic balancer against the timing cover the same time I marked my timing marks on my cams before I took it all apart but I didn't do that so I was a little worried cranking it up this morning but um, but it's done and it sounds good I ain't got no codes I actually did have some codes because I cranked it up with some vacuum leaks. Uh, these two little hoses right here on the back behind the throttle body. I didn't hook up, but hook those suckers up, clear the codes. We ain't got no codes. So we're going to send this sucker out the door and um, get on the next one. We got to do this Mini Cooper and we got this uh, Dodge Longhorn sitting back here and I got a couple mini bikes I need to. I got this mini bike I gotta fix and a little mini bike trike sitting outside I gotta fix. And then I wanna do some stuff to my truck. Um, oh, Caddywhack. I got a bunch of stuff sitting over here on the shelf. Uh, ready to go on the thing. I got this here. Check this out. This is pretty sweet. All bubble wrapped. Anyways, it is a sheet of real deal carbon fiber, and it is beautiful, but we got that. I'll show you what that's for when we start working on my truck. Um, got the TBSS intake. I got... A uh, fuel pressure transducer to hook up to where I can log my fuel pressure. Got two brand new O2 sensors because one of them done went bad. Um, we got some carbon fiber vinyl wrap. I actually also have the pigtail for the TBSS Gen 4 throttle body. And I found some information um, 
saying that I can actually use this throttle body with some wiring modifications with the 2002 plastic truck tech module that's on my truck. Um, so if that 90 millimeter throttle body works with my TBSS intake, um, that would be tits. Uh, what else we got? We got them AutoZone racing spark plugs. But I think that's all. Oh, I also have my gear set. So right yonder, right here, we got um, some 456 gears and a differential rebuild kit to go in okay way. So, I mean, she should be a ripper if I can get these gears, TBS and SS intake installed. Um, and eventually I want to do dual exhaust. I mean, with all of those things just mentioned, I mean, I'm thinking like another 50 horsepower and the gearing is going to make more of a difference than anything. Because uh, running a almost 33 inch tall tire, I'm basically got 303 gears. So top of second gear, 6,000 RPM, I'm doing about 100 miles an hour. So third and fourth gear is useless. Like, I, like it's unusable in a racing or, you know, street racing. Trying to go from A to B real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I only get, I basically got a power glide with 303 gears. If that makes sense. Um, but I just want to do this quick update little video. Um, just to let y'all know I'm still here. I'm still kicking. I'm alive. And I got a couple. I lost a bunch of content because my computer got hacked and. I just erased the whole computer and all my content and started over. But I do have a couple um, videos that I need to edit out and upload uh, on the G body. And I think there's one. Yeah, there's one on the on old Caddywag here also. So appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. We'll see y'all on the next one.